Hey, what's going on guys and girls? Old colleague Phoenix here. I'm on episode number 66 of my Surrounded Let's Play series. So, it is a brand new day and a brand new update for Surrounded. The beginnings update. This adds quests. This adds some Halloween stuff. It's, it's, it's good. This adds new zombie types, a debug menu, all kinds of things. It's pretty sick and a lot of guns. So, we got some things that we need to go do. But first, one of the things I did want to mention is that we have no night vision goggles because now they are a separate thing. So now we're going to have to go find night vision goggles for our Spec Ops helmet, which really sucks. Um, I got some guns in here. I put a bunch of key cards in here. <laughs> Just got too many. I didn't need 65 duplicates of the same key card, right? So we'll have a look at the new UI. So we've got the survivor's license, the age, prior occupation, how many zombies are killed, uh, how many boss zombies, da da da. Day survive, the time. And then you've got your skills in here. And then you can reset your points. I've got two points. So I can't spend that on. Oh, yeah, I can. I can get critical hitter. And then we've got quests, which our first quest is to go to the valley safe zone, which is not far from us. It is, in fact, right there. So, let's just do that. As our first order of business, we shall go to the valley safe zone. I am going the wrong direction. Oh, there we go. Alright, oh! What's going on, people? Friendly scavenger! Bye, guys. I'm glad that they're friendly. They're not, uh, dangerous. Freaking winter here as well. Like, it's just so much snow. Look at them. They look almost frozen. Is he supposed to be just a grey model? Is that correct? Almost looks untextured. Thanks. Until I eat the meat by accident. Oh, it's right there. I'm blind. Alright, so I don't know how the quest completions actually work, whether it just completes it automatically. Long down safe zone. That's not what this says. This says it's the valley safe zone. Okay, it did the quest. Oh, there it is. Quest succeeded the safe zone. Hey there. What's going on? I've got all the goods you need. What are you selling? Nothing I want. Are you going to do the same? Hey there. Is there a... Yeah, okay. You can just tap enter. You know what? I may buy all three of them. Thanks. Hey there. Uh, nothing I need in there. Okay. Anybody got quests here? I don't want no trouble, but I do have stuff to sell. What are you selling? 15 credits, 35 credits, 3 credits. Um, and someone mentioned about putting fuel in the toolbox. I've done that. I have put fuel in the car and stuff like that. So I don't think anybody here... Oh, hello. Trade with Halloween Trader. You still celebrate this time of year? As I've got the stuff here for you. What are you selling? Whoa. All right, so we got a pumpkin head. This scares the infected. So are they all just for style? It seems like it. I shall take all of them. Thank you. Whoa. All right, we need to make some fucking money. I don't know how much money we've got, but... My God. Um... Do I have enough? I do. I'm going to be super broke now, though. 
10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. Oh. Um, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 120, 130, 140, 150, 160, 170, 180, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, Fantastic, fantastic. So we've got to find secret Intel laptops uh, to get more quests. Which means we've probably got to kill some big boys. Um, and apparently now the bosses will go for you from a distance if you shoot them from a distance, which is interesting. I did want to test something, and that was the, the uh, horde beacons may be fixed now, and I would like to try it. Just the one time. I think we... Do we still have our turrets over there still? I believe we do. I think we still got our turrets. So there should be these... Also these zombies that potentially like are glowing and stuff. I can't think of what they're called. He has a name for them. Oh, they're called zombie archetypes. Roam, a crawler, radiated, dog, and infected. Now have an archetype they can spawn as. These archetypes are distinguished by how they visually look different to their normal counterpart. Each one has a unique thing about them from extra health due to armor or radiated blood that damages the player. So I think we could also get a look at these archetypes if we go and use the Horde Beacon as well. I think that could be the thing to do. Okay, so we can talk a little bit more about what it has as well. So we obviously got the new UI. We got the Halloween items, which we have now got. Which is pretty cool. They weren't really that, that bad. I thought they were going to cost credits and that was going to be problematic. But because it cost money... It was okay. We didn't have to worry about having credits, which would have been a real pain in the baduga. But we do have a debug menu now, which means we can spawn pretty much any item in the game. Um, so that's available to do testing with and all that kind of stuff, which is pretty cool. I still want to tr try and traditionally get the weapons. Um, you know, the, the proper way. I don't want to go just spawn them in just to show them off and then have them. Damn it. There we go. I'm glad it tried multiple times to, to get it in the right spot where it's like, yeah, right. We can do that. Uh, almost there. So, there's an MP7 added now. What else is there? There's skill books, like passive skill magazines you can find and books that will increase your skills. Uh, there's the legendary weapons that we just found. There's Spaz-12. There's a Famas. There's this Noisemaker. I tried a few of these things out in the shooting range, which I thought was pretty cool. And you throw it, it's like a tin can. It just makes a bunch of noise to attract zombies to. Oh, there's a tool cabinet used to store crafting materials. There's a fair few things. Have we got our turrets over here? I really hope we do. I don't remember if I picked them up or not. No, I didn't. Cool. All right, I'm just going to back right up. Yeah, so you need a can opener now to open canned food, which I think is interesting. I want to see if I can show an example. Consume. No can opener in inventory. There you go. You're going to need a can opener. All right, well, we've got... The Horde Beacon's still over here. Or did I pick them all up and put them away? I didn't take them away, did I? All right, guys and girls, we got three horde beacons here ready to go, or four horde beacons ready to go. We're going to try and see if we can get this to work. Three, four. This could break it by activating four, to be honest. I'm actually risking messing it up. But at the same time, we want to see if we can get some of these new zombie archetypes to spawn as well, which I think would be pretty cool. Please tell me you've got fuel. You do. Sweet. We are golden then. Now I do want to use... Let's see. What one do I like the most? I kind of like the look at that. Along with this one. There we go. Now 
just load it. Oh, there we go. We shall turn the game sound down. You guys need to come over here a little bit. There we go. Oh, it's silenced. Interesting. Oh my god, the music is overlapping each other. <laughs> it's not a great experience um, audio-wise. I think I may turn the music off if that's what's going to keep happening. Well, they seem to spawn in a hell of a lot faster than they used to, like... More consistently, it looks like. Some of them still seem to get stuck if you're too far away. There we go. We just need to run back over here now. Okay, so it can go full auto. That's pretty cool. What about... I'll try out the sidearm. Yeah, that goes for me. Right, let's reload this. I only have what? When I need a speed loader thing or something. Here we go. Quickly grab. Oh, loot all. Wait, was that loot all button always there? Is that a new addition? Because that's... That is... Very good. <gasps> Shit! Okay, they're all pretty pissed. Ready? Okay, that just almost killed my turret. That wasn't useful. Okay, 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 okay. Little. Money. Holy shit! Point five oh. Well, I've got fifty BMG rounds. So what's your problem? Oh, there we go. Oh my god. It's pretty sick. I'm not gonna lie. Here we go. Now we can load a light. spawning in. So I'm going to make sure I checked all the boss's bodies. That's what I'm looking for. Secret intelligence laptop. Hell yeah. Oh! What the hell? Okay. I don't know what happened there. You guys okay? Did the hall beacons break? Oh, here they come. They're making their way downtown, running fast. Gotta get my ass out of here. Better liddy liddy. Oh, shit. Hey, yep. Oh, one of them's radiated. So if you step on their corpse, you get radiated. Interesting. Oh! 
completing that wave unbugged the others. Interesting. Ow. So I'm just taking radiation damage, it would appear. Okay, that's interesting. That's kind of cool that it unbugged the others, I don't know. Alright, let's just do... Did that just drop that on the fucking ground? It did. <gasps> that was not my intention. I did not plan to roll off that. Holy shit. There's a few there, they really want blood, bro. Hmm. I'm just messing around here. Look at it light them up. So apparently zombie melee's been improved as well, like you can now um you can now stomp on them and stuff like that, which is pretty cool. Let's do this. I'm getting radiated from there. Apparently. I did not see any pop-ups for the next one, the next horde starting, though. So I think it may have broke. Ow. Ow. I'm bleeding. What the fuck? Rude. Well, I think that's it. Finally broke. It actually lasted. It, it actually, you know, we s didn't really see the archetypes. Like I guess they were there, but I couldn't really tell until I stood on their pile of corpses and started taking damage. That's interesting. So it does. It they do break. What was that? Five waves. Five waves for that one. Okay, I'm trying it with just the one horde beacon going, just to see if we can get it to go all the way up or not, level-wise. I didn't realise this one's not on. Now they are. Alright, we got a big boy. Come on, big boy. Come over here. Actually, we can test out this uh, thing where if I shoot at him, he should know where I am. Also, just broke my leg, so I'm going to quickly heal that before he runs over here. Mm, Survivor. I don't know whether it's working. Maybe it's because it's the Horde Beacon one. But I'm pretty sure I'm clapping his head, and he ain't running over here anytime soon. Can I get closer and get him to run? Or is he just stuck trying to hit something? There we go. Man, I'm a little bit, a little bit heavier than I thought. Oh shit, I'm not that fast. I'm not as fast as he is, fuck. So I better get that final shot off. Alright, we got more key cards than we know what to do with, to be honest, at this point. Do I have any other drinks? Oh. A lab key card down there. There we go. That'll sort me out for a while. Come on, guys. All run over. That's good. Oh, next wave's still going. 
Like, it's working for now. I don't know why I'm taking the shotgun rounds. I've got so many shotgun rounds. I don't need to take more shotgun rounds. It's just unnecessary. Ah, right, come on party people, let's go! Sniped. Come on over here everybody, everybody over here, yeah, it's good. <gasps> oh shit. Okay, we're good. Oh, next one's working. Oh, wait a minute. Here we go. I don't know whether it's ever going to balance out where we get more ammo than what we do shoot, but... Like, for some guns, obviously. Like, we're getting back our deagle rounds and stuff that we spent using on the, uh, the dead eye. Okay, these guys are just bugged out there. I have to get close to them to get them to work. Because, yeah, shooting them doesn't seem to attract them to me any sooner. Okay, there we go. Come on, get your ass up here. Beautiful. Alright, let him tank some damage for a minute. And then I'll finish him off. That's the easiest way to do it. And the cheapest, ammo-wise. Like, these cost me nothing. Okay. And it broke. So it broke after spawning the two big boys in. <laughs> Another dark machete. Another dark machete. Yeah, so that didn't do anything after that. What was that? Wave 6 or something? Okay, well we've tested that out. That's good. Now, we can go in here to the secret intelligence laptop. Look at that. Oh, so secretive and intelligent. Alright, and then if we use it... Oh, we got scan laptop. Classified container. Find the classified container. It is in Lawrence Creek. Fuck. Okay. That could be not good. Um, I actually really need to quickly do some inventory. Alright. Over near it. I don't know how we're supposed to find it. Like that... On the minimap it looks huge. Maybe it's smaller once you get over near it. That's what she said. Please don't tell me. This is going to be underground, isn't it? Wait, what? What? Where? It has to be... It's going to be in the fucking subway, isn't it? Um, problem is, I can't remember where the subway actually is, whether it would go there or not. <gasps> well, it's not there. It has to be underground. And the only underground area I know of around here is the subway.
Mm. So you can pick them up too. Shooting going on. Not great. Jesus. Yeah, I think the subway's at the other end of town. Damn it. There we go. Oh shit! Get out of a man's face, bro. Get out of my face! You slippery bastard. Oh my god. Yeah, I'm confused, because like I said, the subway is at the complete other end of town, I think. I'm pretty sure. Might as well top myself up with a bit of radiation tablets, seeing as I have so many. That man is holding a weapon. Going down the subway is a bitch too. There's going to be so many... So many zombies down here. God damn it. And I've got no night vision either now. I've got that. That's it though. That's going to attract them to it, which is great. There's people above me too. Like there's, there's zombies above me. Oh, that didn't... Oh, time. What the fuck is that? Wait, what is that hat? Oh, it's that one. Holy shit, the head's huge. Oh, I, oh, I don't have any lockpicks in my inventory. I actually don't think I've got advanced lockpicking unlocked. I do have advanced lockpicking unlocked, son of a bitch. I can't believe I have no lockpicks on me. There's a chance. We got it. What's going on, dude? It's a shame. The subway is eaten fresh. <laughs> Every day. Are they, they're all on the other side of that wall, huh? Ooh. Let's have a little bit of fun, shall we? Grab this bad boy out. Grab a shitload of shoddy shells. Switch over to this son of a bitch. fellas oh my god a 
That sounds real nice, it does. That was a very dumb thing to do. Holy shit. Right, we gotta go this way. I know it's so hard to see, guys. I really do apologize. The flashlight really needs to be improved. Let me shoot the gun. It won't let me shoot, dude. That's just bullshit. Okay, so it respawned me at my bed, which is just ridiculous, because I did click random. And I redid the laptop thing, and now it's over here somewhere. Oh, there it is. I think that's it, right? That'd have to be it. Ooh. Interact with the classified military container. Alright, let's see what we got. Um, oh, it's facing backwards. Oh, <laughs> great. I only have another two of those. God damn it. I would, I, I would get a, a machete out of that. The thing is, though, it didn't, it didn't get rid of the quest marker. Is there anything else in there? No. There's nothing else in the container. Is there one in here or something? No. It's toolbox, though. That could come in handy. Oh, you piece of shit. Crawler zombie that radiated me. That's rude. Is there a... I, yeah, no, that has to be it. There wouldn't be another one. I think there might be a problem with the quest completing, though. It doesn't seem to disappear off the map, which is a little bit weird, but I guess at the same time, the update just came out, so hotfixes have not come in yet. Okay. I'm going to go this way. Got to figure out... That annoying noise. Holy shit. Um, where do we want to go? I want to try and... Hmm. Go to Bravo. Has Whitewood always been there? Is that a new town? That's a new town, right? I'm not just tripping. That's definitely a new town. Has to be. Yep. From what I see, that is a brand new town. I did not know that existed, so I'm going to go there. Um, do we have any... There we go. Yeah, let's check out Whitewood. See what's going on in Whitewood. But we definitely got to be farming, farming uh, boss zombies for those laptops. Bad. 
to be honest, the Horde Beacon actually seems like a really logical, safe solution to farming that stuff. What's going on in Whitewood? Oh, it's got a couple um, quarantine tents and stuff up as well. God damn it. There we go. Just walk through the town assassinating zombies. Oh my god. Go. All right, what do we got? A shopping center. We got. I don't know what that is. Oh, you know what we should try. Yeah, it should be a stomp. Yeah, did you see the stomp? There's a stomp for like crawlers. You've got now. What do we got in here? Oh, we got a couple lockers. I heard ya. We gotta cut this one open. Great. Alright. Almost there. Well, the ammo's nice. That's about all I could say about the loot there. Looks like a hospital's here as well. God damn it. Got a wall up in my grill. Okay, that Geiger counter noise needs to be able to be set. I think. It, it, it should be a setting that you can set it to when you want it to make the Geiger counter noise. Because I'm 98% and it's already doing it. Like, I feel like doing it at 100% and under is too, too, um, too high. It needs to be lower. Holy shit. That's not fucking horrifying at all. Motherfucker coming at me. Full bloody... Full sun's out, gun's out, pumpkin head. Oh, okay, so this looks like it's been... It's it's been put here, but hasn't been furnished. Oh no, no, there's stuff in here. There is stuff in here indeed. I'm pretty pissed about dying the way I did. That's bullshit. Like, it would not let me fire the gun. I don't know why. I think it was just proximity to the enemy. I was just, he was up against me and it just would not let me shoot while he was pressed up against me. Auto injector. Give me some of them needles. Nothing in there. Do -do -do -do. Nothing. Oh. That's a floating medical container. There's a horse statue in the water. I like the bandages. Bandages are good. And actually look pretty good. The paramedic pants. I really like the aesthetic. How fucking tall is this fucking hospital, my dude? I thought we would have hit the top by now, but we haven't. We have not gotten to the top of it yet. It's got to be the next floor, right? Yeah. There we go. Holy shit. It's a pretty tall hospital. Uh, let's have a look around for a minute, because it does, it seems like this is about the end of town. 
So you've got you've got a supermarket. Is that a police? It's not a police station, is it? It's it's like a I don't know a set of apartments or something. Oh yeah, actually, it could be a police station. And just not in the same form as the other ones. I don't know. Maybe it's like a county deputy police station or something. I'm not sure. Let's go have a look. Well, I think definitely I'm noticing my character's slower than normal, I believe. And I think that's tied directly to the stats that you level up as you're going around, like... Our fitness is on five. Improves stamina and speed of the player, yeah. So I'm definitely slower than what I remember being, but that's because it's now tied to the skill system. Which is cool, I like that. I'm okay with that. I'm really not okay with this Geiger counter noise, though. That is slowly driving me insane. Terribly. Yeah, definitely has to be like an old cop station yeah okay this is cool like some molotovs molotovs very good oh can opener yep that's can opener right <laughs> No doubt about that. Ooh. Don't have that one. How to be light-footed. Increase your ability in sneaking by 250 XP. Ooh. Okay, so if we check... If we check our statistics... Oh, we've got four points as well. Um, okay. So if we go to... If we look at our skills, we got 289. So this should technically take us to level two. Once we read it. Yep. Beautiful. Okay, that's cool. I like the I like the skill books. That's pretty cool. Okay, the other one only had a sledgehammer. So we'll try this one out. I also just made a big noise before I unpaused the recording, and the zombie outside didn't seem to give a shit. Alec at all. He did not care. One iota. Um. I wonder if those books could be found in trash. Probably, right? Probably more likely in a filing cabinet or, or a bookshelf or something, though, I guess. <laughs> that would be a good find right off the... If you were just starting out. Ooh, I don't think I have any lockpicks. I don't have any lockpicks. Shitaki. Sharp blade. Pipe. Most popular in South Asia. <laughs> Fucking hell. Uh, I don't know why. They just killed me. Most popular in South Asia. <laughs> you like to beat the shit out of people with pipes the most. Ooh. Military night vision goggles. I don't know where they went. Oh, not a compatible helmet. Hang on. Yeah. Oh, I bet you it's because I already own it. I have to find a new one for them to work. That's a little annoying. Well, we got them now, at least. I'm pissed I don't have any lockpicks, though. That's infuriating. I just didn't even think of it. Let's 
No, no, there was one in there. The chances of getting that open with just one, though, is pretty long, pretty unlikely, but... I mean, we could try. Uh. Uh. Wow. <laughs> Crazy. Did it the first time. That's insane. <laughs> the chances of that are so fucking low. Okay, well this is a cool little town. I like that. It's it's good to have another POI that's you know around the map because sometimes they're they you, you spawn and it takes a while to run into a POI if you're not really sure where you are. So the more POIs the better always I reckon. I don't think we're gonna miss out anything too major oh isn't this fuel thing lootable? There's nothing in it. That's a shame. Would have been nice to get more fuel, although I do have a fair amount on me, so it's not too much of a worry. Yeah, so that container is still... Oh, it's still on this map, but it's not on this map. Weird. Really, really weird. Well, anyway, guys and girls, that is going to be the end of this episode. If you like it, remember to leave a like. If you want to see more Surround Dead in the future, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to follow me on all my social media links down in the description below. Thank you all so much for watching, and I hope you'll have a lovely day. All right, peace!